Okay, so the lights, they are bright as F. So how many of us are going to the corner, downshifting and engine braking, and nobody really can see like you are decreasing your speed. Now this thing... So basically I will just accelerate and now this really is the throttle. Does it doing something? And I saw that there is kind of blink. So the light goes from the top to the bottom. I don't know if you will be able to see it, but if it is the case, I'm saying uh, it's not happening. The light is constantly on. The thing is only caused by GoPro or regular cameras, you know, like when you recording your desktop or whatever, it will just flash. And I will tell you directly what I like and what I don't, because this is honest review, all right? I didn't wait out during the, you know, late hours, late afternoon hours, well, this will be super visible. We are on a really heavy sun. We will break now, just normally, like you would break before the corner or whatever. Now you accelerate and break. Told you about the shakiness? Nah, you don't feel it at all. If you will hit emergency braking, bam, bam. Hi guys, this is Martin, AK Martin, the vlogger. And today, today I have here for you another honest review. Actually, I might think this is more than just an honest review, but I will explain to you a little bit later. So what I have here today and what you will find out today's video, ah, uh, this is a brake free light. Actually, have a look. Oh, how cool is that? So this is a brake free light. It's a smart light from brake free technologies. And I was waiting for it for about four or five months. And in today's video, you will find out like, I will just very quickly tell you key features and what I like, what I don't. And we will take it to a spin for a spin because I would like to see like how it really works on my bikes. I will tell you why Martin the vlogger and a little bit of extra safety. I don't like safety. Well, I'm a crazy dude. I like safety. So yeah, why this and me? And yeah, I will tell you why this is more than just an honest review. Guys, enough of this. Let's get started. So let's start with the key features and I will tell you directly what I like and what I don't because this is honest review. All right. And from the point of view, like from the unpackaging point of view, from the mounting on point of view and feeling on the helmet, I wasn't riding with it. You will be riding first time with me. All right. So directly. First thing, packaging and everything. I love it. I love the manual. I love some, some pictograms that they're using, like the, the lights, they are bright AF. <laughs> love it. So uh, packaging and the quality. Uh, I have bought several of them because my friends will be writing and testing it. I will get there later. So, um, so what I like, everything is in there. This thing costs like 165, 170 dollars in America, roughly around 200 euros plus in Europe. You cannot get it in Europe, can you? Okay, so that's the thing. Like, I absolutely like the quality. The quality of the, of the item itself, it's really there. Uh, what I like, it's dump proof. Like, you don't need to connect it to any app. And still, I told you, it's a smart light but you don't need to connect it to the app. All you have to do, you have to stick it on your helmet, charge it, turn it on, put it on the helmet, there you go. Or put it on the helmet and turn it on, there you go. All right, so that's the thing what I like. How heavy it is. If I will tell you like, you will not feel it, I will be lying. Because anything you will put on your helmet, even the GoPro, you will feel it. This is 170 or 165 grams with the battery. The whole GoPro, what is this, nine, black. And when you put it on top, you feel the wind and you feel like a little bit of the weight there. This is 200 grams. And I was running around flood yesterday in it and I, I didn't really feel it, but still there is something on your helmet, okay? However, the difference, if I will really compare it to the GoPro, because many of you, many of us riders are running with the GoPros on the helmet. This is like, it will sound stupid, but this is heavier because it's in one tiny area, all the weight. This is divided into a like bigger area. Now, as for the holder, what I like, I think they told me like, I should stop saying like, uh, I think they tell me or told me that it will fly away because of the system. Uh, it will fly away in case of crash. And I really do believe in it. 
So in case you will fail down or whatever, uh, it should just very simply un undo or whatever and fly away. Uh, one thing I don't like is actually, have a look. It's tiny bit of, I don't want to say really rattling, but tiny bit of move. And why it is so? It's because of the nature of the holder, okay? Now, it's a super easy fix because I will be riding with extra cushion here and here. I think they should put it in there, uh, but that's just a, a tiny thing, I would say. Now, to the smart light, because I think that's the biggest uh, advantage of it or why I have it. Actually, why I have it. Now have a look. I don't know if you know me, but this is my Riker 900 rally and I will be having another three because I'm opening the coolest and best rental agency, a tour agency in the Europe uh, coming in March 2022. This is the beast, okay? This is a Spider F3S. Well, Spider, of course, I put my aftermarket uh, covers there and still the lights are good. It's They're quite high, but you know, I'm, I'm actually I'm quite happy how the Spider is having their lights, okay? Where I'm not happy is definitely the Riker or my friends are riding uh, choppers and stuff. So the lights are right over here. And if you have, if you are in a traffic, nobody can really like see ya. So having lights in the, in the height of uh, anybody's eyes, that's the big advantage. That's the reason why I actually purchased this. Cause I'm running the or I will be running the coolest rental agency and tour agency and I want everybody to feel secure, okay? Extra visibility is the key thing. Now, what they say, uh, turn on. Okay, so the lights, they are bright as F, okay? Why? Because they have super bright 100 lights. But what I like about it, uh, actually when I was running around the flat, <laughs> it was not super bright into your eyes. So whoever is riding behind you, can see them, but they are not really hitting you hard as uh, those red fog lights on the cars. Now they are smart lights, so you don't have to connect it to the app. However, it has gyro, it has accelerometer, and it has their own logic that they've been developing since 2015. Now they are running thousands of bikes and still developing the app and still developing the logic. And what it does, uh, look, you know, it starts to, depends how heavy you brake, and by braking we also talk about engine braking. So how many of us are going to the corner, downshifting and engine braking, and nobody really can see like you are decreasing your speed. Now this thing will notice it, and it, you know, slightly will give more light, and you will be more visible. If you hit the brakes, of course, there you go it's more light there. If you will hit emergency braking, bam, bam, I don't know, it will start flashing. So this is something I absolutely do like. Now, how long it will, it can go and more I will be talking in unpackaging video because I will be doing more series of videos because I need to test it really, really properly. I'm almost getting there, but I will tell you to you after we will hit the road, what the hell I'm doing with all of this. There are more modes, uh, but it can, you know, it can hold or cope up with almost whole day riding. So it's, I believe, up to eight hours of riding. In case you go for a coffee or something, it goes to the standby and saves power. And I think that's pretty much it. Now, let's put it on the bike and let's go for a spin and let's do several tests. So how it really performs. By the way, today it's one o'clock. The sun is right there. It's late autumn, so it's really, really bright. So I didn't wait out during the, you know, late hours, late afternoon hours, well, this will be super visible. We are on a really heavy sun and though, you know, that really uncomfortable winter almost sun. So I really want to see how it will look on the camera. Now, let's go for a ride. Okay, we're ready for a ride. This is the beast, you know. Uh-oh. 
All right. Nope. We're going with this one. You ain't gonna hear shit with on that bike. Whoop. <laughs> Much better. Now, as you can see, my holder just fell down, so I had to adjust a little, but there is nothing that <laughs> I haven't done before, so been there, done that. Now, you know, hopefully you can see it well. Uh, it's not about speed, actually, slower speeds are something I wanted to test. Now, as I told you before, it has several modes, so what we will do, we will test now just braking so we'll simply what we will do we will brake now just normally like you would brake before the corner or whatever now you accelerate and brake and accelerate and brake okay this is this should be fine all right still there hopefully yeah now, what it also has, it has something emergency, like emergency braking. <laughs> now, let's do it right now. No! Ah! Okay, good. Uh, so it should brake and, you know, flash. Because it tells to the people behind you, you have, you're in kind of trouble. So braking heavily. This is emergency braking. Now the last thing I wanted to test, I don't know if this will be possible to do on a Riker. However, I'm curious. Uh, Riker and downshifting and braking with uh, engine. Okay, so braking with an engine, it's something with the Riker you cannot much do because uh, this is, how it is called, drive shaft. So like automatic transmission and you cannot change gears. So basically, I will just accelerate, and now this really is the troll. Does it doing something? Is it doing something? I don't know. I don't know. Now we are kind of almost stopping. So, all right, and braking. Good. Let's see the results. So, guys, what do you think? Uh, is it something that you would like to have on your helmet? Uh, share it in the comments, please. And uh, I'll tell you something that I have noticed. And also, if you will see it on martindevlogger.com, the largest European shop for Canem Spider and Riker aftermarket parts, my friends has approved it, and I have approved it after several other tests, okay? I'm selling only things that I personally believe in, that I personally would like to, you know, ride with. I don't think, care about anything else, okay? The same goes for my rental agency. Uh, I will be, or actually I'm uploading those bikes like with a lot of upgrades and putting them into the level where I feel comfortable riding them, okay? That's Martin the Vlogger, that's my honesty, that's how I do the business. Now, things that I have noticed, told you about the shakiness. Nah, you don't feel it at all. You don't have to put any cushion, nothing like that, because simply your bike is shaking a lot, all right? And I thought, okay, my bike is shaking a lot, that thing will shake even more. No, you just simply don't feel it. Uh, weight, not at all. Uh, only when I was really focusing on a few meters here, so I was like, okay, uh, how it is? Yeah, I can feel it, maybe, then nothing, and then I have noticed one thing, I was checking my GoPro, like how good is the footage, can I use it? And I saw that there is kind of blink, so the light goes from the top to the bottom. I don't know if you will be able to see it, but if it is the case, I'm saying uh, it's not happening. The light is constantly on, the thing is only caused by GoPro or regular cameras, you know, like when you recording your desktop or whatever, it will just flash. It's nothing like that. Your light is constantly like on and there have several modes, but I will get to them in a different videos. Guys, in case you like what I do, subscribe to my channel. 
have the notifications on because every time I make a cool video, you will be notified. Hit the like or hit the dislike, it's up to you. And visit martinthevlogger.com in case it's approved. It's there and it's in the Europe. Now guys, now guys remember, be safe out there. Spend your time on the road, not in the hospital. And in case you like the brake free light, buy one because it's a hell of a good thing. And always have fun.